In topology and related branches of mathematics, a T1 space is a topological space in which, for every pair of distinct points, each has a neighborhood not containing the other. An R0 space is one in which this holds for every pair of topologically distinguishable points. The properties T1 and R0 are examples of separation axioms. Definitions Let X be a topological space and let X and Y be points in X we say that X and Y can be separated if each lies in a neighborhood which does not contain the other point. X is a T1 space if any two distinct points in X are separated. X is an R0 space if any two topologically distinguishable points in X are separated. A T1 space is also called an accessible space or a Tikhonov space, or a space with Frechet topology, and a R0 space is also called a symmetric space. The term Frechet space also has an entirely different meaning in functional analysis. For this reason, the term T1 space is preferred. There is also a notion of a Frechet Urison space as a type of sequential space. The term symmetric space has another meaning. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Properties. Let X be a topological space. Then the following conditions are equivalent. X is a T1 space. X is a T0 space and a R0 space. Points are closed in X, i.e. given any X in X, the singleton set X is a closed set. Every subset of X is the intersection of all the open sets containing it. Every finite set is closed. Every cofinite set of X is open. The fixed ultrafilter at X converges only to X. For every subset S of X and every point X in X, X is a limit point of S if and only if every open neighborhood of X contains infinitely many points of S. Let X be a topological space. Then the following conditions are equivalent. X is an R0 space. Given any X in X, the closure of X contains only the points that are topologically indistinguishable from X. For any two points X and Y in the space, X is in the closure of Y if and only if Y is in the closure of X. The specialization preorder on X is symmetric and therefore an equivalence relation. The fixed ultrafilter at X converges only to the points that are topologically indistinguishable from X. Every open set is the union of closed sets. In any topological space we have, as properties of any two points, the following implications Separated topologically distinguishable distinct if the first arrow can be reversed the space is R0. If the second arrow can be reversed the space is T0. If the composite arrow can be reversed the space is T1. Clearly, a space is T1 if and only if it's both R0 and T0. Note that a finite T1 space is necessarily discrete since every set is closed. Examples Sierpinski space is a simple example of a topology that is T0 but is not T1. The overlapping interval topology is a simple example of a topology that is T0 but is not T1. The cofinite topology on an infinite set is a simple example of a topology that is T1 but is not Hausdorff T2. This follows since no two open sets of the cofinite topology are disjoint. Specifically, let X be the set of integers, and define the open sets OA to be those subsets of X which contain all but a finite subset A of X then given distinct integers X and Y, the open set O X contains Y but not X, and the open set O y contains X and not Y. Equivalently, every singleton set X is the complement of the open set O X, so it is a closed set. So the resulting space is T1 by each of the definitions above. 
This space is not T2, because the intersection of any two open sets OA and OB is OAB, which is never empty. Alternatively, the set of even integers is compact but not closed, which would be impossible in a Hausdorff space. The above example can be modified slightly to create the double pointed cofinite topology, which is an example of an R0 space that is neither T1 nor R1. Let X be the set of integers again, and using the definition of OA from the previous example, define a subbase of open sets GX for any integer X to be GX. Topic O X X plus one if X is an even number and G X O X one X if X is odd. Then the basis of the topology are given by finite intersections of the subbasis sets. Given a finite set A, the open sets of X are U A equals X element of a G X display style u underscore a equals big cap underscore X in a G underscore X. The resulting space is not T zero and hence not T one because the points X and X plus one for X even are topologically indistinguishable, but otherwise it is essentially equivalent to the previous example, the Zariski topology on an algebraic variety over an algebraically closed field is T one. To see this, note that a point with local coordinates C one C n is the zero set of the polynomials X one C one. Xn Cn. Thus, the point is closed. However, this example is well known as a space that is not Hausdorff T2. The Zariski topology is essentially an example of a cofinite topology. The Zariski topology on a commutative ring, that is, the prime spectrum of a ring, is T0, but not, in general, T1. To see this, note that the closure of a one-point set is the set of all prime ideals that contain the point, and thus the topology is T0. However, this closure is a maximal ideal, and the only closed points are the maximal ideals, and are thus not contained in any of the open sets of the topology, and thus the space does not satisfy axiom T1. To be clear about this example, the Zariski topology for a commutative ring A is given as follows: the topological space is the set X of all prime ideals of A. The base of the topology is given by the open sets O of prime ideals that do not contain A in A. It is straightforward to verify that this indeed forms the basis, so O of Topic OAB and O zero. O and O1 equals X. The closed sets of the Zariski topology are the sets of prime ideals that do contain A. Notice how this example differs subtly from the cofinite topology example. Above, the points in the topology are not closed, in general, whereas in a T1 space, points are always closed. Every totally disconnected space is T1, since every point is a connected component and therefore closed. Topic: Generalizations to other kinds of spaces. The terms T1, R0, and their synonyms can also be applied to such variations of topological spaces as uniform spaces, Cauchy spaces, and convergent spaces. The characteristic that unites the concept in all of these examples is that limits of fixed ultrafilters or constant nets are unique for T1 spaces or unique up to topological indistinguishability for R0 spaces. As it turns out, uniform spaces, and more generally Cauchy spaces, are always R0, so the T1 condition in these cases reduces to the T0 condition. But R0 alone can be an interesting condition on other sorts of convergent spaces, such as pretopological spaces. 